from Kiwi is 944. The Radio Wemo Breakfast. Well, a film that's going to be released on January the 27th, a Kiwi film called The Hopes and Dreams of Gaza Snell, stars lead actress Robin Malcolm. Robin Malcolm joining us on the show here this morning. Morning, Robin. Hello, how are you doing? I'm very well. You're dry this morning. Uh, just yeah. <laughs> any, any flooding at your place? Oh no! But today was yesterday was yesterday was extraordinary. Pretty full but on, eh? You had to get out there. I had the kids on the tramp with soap suds and snorkel gear yesterday. Yeah. At times like this, I wonder what. I wonder if there are any um, you know TV or film projects on the go at the moment that could you know could use the elements you know as part of the as part of the, the production. You know, I wonder if anyone is ever lucky enough. Well, I guess if the piano, the sequel was being filmed here, then <laughs> you know, because th- they had they had quite an extensive relationship with Mud. But um, <laughs> was it was it fine weather for the for the hopes and dreams of Gaza Snell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it was good. It was good. There were a few. Um, I know that I that they had quite a, a quite a period of time out on the racetrack, and I know that there were a couple of rainy days out there. But yeah. um, f- from what I remember, from the one time I've seen it, it it all looked. Amazing, so you know it all worked out. It always works out, well, you know. It's like the Shakespeare and Love movie. You, don't, you never know how, but it always works out in the end. Well, that's right. Yeah. Well, it's um, it's a it's a coming of age story. This one. Tell us about it. When well, what's the general premise behind it? Well, the um, Gather and Gaza, Gaza and Gail Snell, a typical Kiwi parents with two two young boys, and Gaza's um, he's he's that kind of hilarious Kiwi dad. You know, he's the guy that hangs around the barbecue. And uh, and tells the same joke every Christmas, you know that he's he's got heaps of friends. He's the guy who's, who's got you know he's got all the laughs. And, Sounds like John Key. Um, uh, I, I'm going to move on from that. <laughs> and 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 he uh, and he's kind of loved by everybody. And he owns his own little cleaning business. But what he's most passionate about is go kart racing. And he did quite well in his own life. But his kids are looking like they're going to be better. So he's he's basically pushing his own ambitions and his own sort of passion for the sport through his boys. Yeah. And, uh, as a lot of parents wife, want to do, I suppose. Live, live, as, a, as a lot of parents want to do, live, live for the kids. As a lot of parents want to do. You know, the minute you see your kids talented and mm. as, as something, you, you know, you, you want to kind of encourage them. And, and, of course, Gail's the other side of that. You know, she sees the risks, and also it's a very male-oriented sport, and so she's quite lonely in the middle of it all. So there's a, there's a great deal of sort of marital tension between the two of them. And, 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 what, and what sort of person is, is Gail? Well, she's very um, she's very sensible. She's very pragmatic. She, um, of course, is completely devoted to her kids. She loves her husband as well. I mean, I think she's, um, but she's she's and she's been. I guess you you know she's been the good wife for a long time, but she's incredibly lonely now. You know, and she's um, simply because the sport is not part of her world, and she's had to remove herself because she's so terrified of the potential risks mm. and so she's a bit on the outer um through the movie and ultimately she's emotionally tougher i think you know like they uh, towards the end you know she provides some of the bigger emotional challenges in the movie i guess um gaz is the real sort of heart of the film i guess it's it's his story in a sense which is why which is what i loved about it was that it was a story about a dad a dad and his sons which yeah. is not something you know that we you know i mean interestingly the last new zealand film that i guess focused on this was boy and this is a kind of different take on it you know it's a white working class dad out in east auckland with his with his his two young boys and they have this great relationship very funny relationship very sort of kiwi um you know kind of dry humor and 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 gail's a bit of a foil for that does it i mean does it feel dark because one thing we we even would say with boy it's funny, but there's there's darkness in there. Yeah, as well. it's, it's that kind. Of, I think New Zealanders. I've always said we're very like Russians. You know, the Russians are like this mm. as well. Is that things get funnier the darker they get? <laughs> yeah. And we and we, we I, don't have the excuse though. I mean, it's not that cold here. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Someone put it down to all the dark bush, though. Yeah, right. Getting yeah. back to the piano, yeah, which yeah. wasn't a comedy, of course. This <laughs> this has this has some very um, challenging emotional moments in it. It's it's quite, um, but it's very funny. Is yeah. what I like about it is that, is that the humour's not that far away, and the you know the two um, sort of lead male actors, William McGuinness and Joel Tobeck, are both screamingly funny people and mm. so in that sense there's, there's always this kind of lightness around and a real Kiwi pragmatism which I think the Aussies have got as well you know this sort of sense of um, 
Well, you know, we've, we, we saw it with the recent flooding in Queensland, you know, the, the, the ability for Antipodeans to just get up yeah. and keep going, you know, and, and there's definitely that spirit in the film, particularly within Gaza. It's the, it's the journey of Gaza, actually. It's his his relationship with his sons, his relationship with his own life and his, and where his own life is going and actually letting go of some ambitions so other things can happen, you know. Robin, is it good to get your teeth back into a, um, a long player, a feature film? Oh, shit, yeah, it's great. I mean, I haven't done an enormous amount of feature films. The weird thing is, is that the feature films I've done have been the sort of the bit parts on international movies like um, like Lord of the Rings or Sylvia mm. or um, Perfect Strangers, and I... Um, and I've never really been able to stretch things around in a feature film too much. And so um, I did it in the, when Cheryl was in prison um, some of the time. And, and I was able to, um, it, it was great for me. I was, I was really nervous because I'm, um, I'm just not as experienced in film. But um, it was, uh, I was thrilled to be able to do it. Yeah. And good to see yourself on different stock. I suppose it's different stock, eh? On, yeah. on, the, on the screen. Oh, actually <laughs> lovely because you're not shooting on HD. Yeah. HD for film picks up every <laughs> bloody wrinkle and pimple and all the rest of it, and suddenly you get into film and they light you so softly. And, and you've got that nice, nice graininess going on. I know. Yeah. I was like, oh my god, I didn't know Gwyneth Paltrow was in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I'm, joking. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm sure you're not, Robin. Um, so good to talk to you, and um, we're looking forward to seeing the film The Hopes and Dreams of Gaza Snell. Yes. It's in cinemas on January the 27th. And I um, hope to have you back on the show again soon. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Robin. to talk to you. Cheers. That's uh, Robin Malcolm there with us. Time now here on